Brakathia Howl, Brakathia Shai, Brakathia Howl, Brakathia Shai, Brakathia Howl, Brakathia Shai, Brakathia Howl, Brakathia Howl, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim, Rakakudash, the blindness of the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, which you well. Citations to the whole for the elect out there. You are Kim to Sadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity on the pre Shaman. This week's topic is going to be entitled He Who Controls the Media Controls the Narrative. And um, that's something we've been seeing, man. It's something we've known a lot, but it's something that's been amplified a lot lately with uh, mainly what's going on within the news. Um, pretty much uh, the media, um, mainstream media, social media, all this propaganda filled news is pretty much dictating how people act, react, and all that. Um, I know the, one of the things going around right now is that this dude right here um, was a cop. And, you know, they're saying, no, it's not a cop. But, you know, when that news got pushed out on social media, no confirmation. People just going wild on rumors and shit. But cop or no cop, this dude was definitely an agent provocateur. And that's the first thing I th that came to my mind was this guy, there's going to be, and the Elder Manatazak did a lesson on that. Like, look, these different movements are filled with agent provocateurs that incite violence, you know, because here it is, you have your cause to... Uh, protest what unjustly happened to uh, George Floyd and then you have people that's going to come in and infiltrate to set you up to make you do things uh, that are carnal and just really stupid you know um, that deviates from your protest or whatever ultimately to fulfill a, a, an agenda of the infiltrator right um, so this article says Jacob Penderson is not the AutoZone umbrella man St. Paul police say. So they did an inf investigation on this video. Somebody on their Twitter put that it was a cop. And it went crazy. It says a viral and incend incend incendiary social media accusation against a St. Paul, Minnesota police officer is false. The police department said in a statement, the situation shows how quickly information can spread on social media. Um, rocketing around the web, especially in a fast moving situation like the unrest in the Twin Cities. So um it's pretty much like rumors, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, like if you haven't um was in like elementary school, of course you probably was in elementary school or high school, rumors start flying. And then, you know, the scripture says in the mouth of two witnesses, but now rumors start flying and whoever's controlling the rumor, controlling the narrative, is ultimately has the leverage on how people uh, view situations. Now, I want to read something. This is Job 13 and 4. It says, but you are forgers of lies. You are all physicians of no value. So who's forging the majority of these lies? The so-called white man, all right? And what I want to do is I want to show you, brother, something, right? Um, let's lock here. Let me see if I could check this out. The same guy that had that caused the whole lockdown everybody's listening to, look what he says. This is Dr. Fauci. It says, second wave of coronavirus may never happen. and There's no reason to wear masks. So after this guy and got, um, yeah, you're familiar with Dr. Fauci already. After this guy and got, you know, the, pretty much the whole damn place shut down and they did this giant wealth transfer, which they're still doing. Now this guy wants to switch up his narrative and say, oh, no, the coronavirus is not that serious. Which technically right now, statistically speaking, a child has a greater chance of dying from a bolt of lightning than dying from the coronavirus, man. So that whole wearing a mask thing has nothing to do with your safety, but rather a sign of submission, you know. But again, if you control the media, you control the narrative, right? Um, this guy, Bill Gates, you know, he was giving massive amount of donations to who? The World Health Organization. And they pushed out the narrative of, what, of what, whatever they want concerning this uh, coronavirus. You saw uh, MSNBC is also founded by Bill Gates. The Clintons have stakes in... Um, CNN, you know, so like you look at different um, media outlets, it's kind of hard now to find unbiased and true news. That's how come, um, you know, we have to always double check and fact check everything this devil puts out, man. And to the best of our ability, filter what we can. And, you know, news is always changing. So, um, you know, we release what we release and then, you know, facts might change. Things might change. OK, so lucky that got updated, that updated. But, you know, nowadays with this media and the so-called white man trying to push his agenda and different moves. All right. Trust and believe he has infiltrated it within um, movement situations and all these different crises that are happening. And he has the media leverage, man, to really skew the, the way people think. This is John 8 and 44. It says, ye, of, ye are of your fathers, the devil and the lust of your fathers, you will do. So that's our people right there. They have the love, the lust of their father. 
And who was their father? Esau Cain, man. All right. And what are some of the characteristics of Cain? He's pretty much the first nigger. You know, and a lot of and a lot of, a lot of our people take that um characteristics and bearing upon themselves of the of the of the of the, of the devil, the deceiver. All right. The false accuser of brethren, uh, Esau. He was a murderer from the beginning and a bold not in the truth. So this is the characteristics of Cain, so called white man, all right? Which back then he had pigmentation, but after his wicked deeds he was cursed with leprosy, all right, a mark, all right, uh, which is um that that skin that lacked pigmentation that you see was supposed to be a mark, all right, to let you know who this murderer is, you know. He says, and a bold not in the truth, because there's no truth in him. So there's no real uprightness in the so called white man, you know what I'm saying? Um when it comes to um you know telling truths and everything with these uh, political medias and pundits is about an agenda, man. You know what I'm saying? It's about an agenda and, and, and trying to rile and trap our people. That's how come the Holy Spirit always tell us, look, man, don't get into these protests and these different rallies because guess what? You know, you do have sincere people amongst it, but you also have agents amongst it. Because there was a video of Worldstar that was showing um, a, a news media was, was playing gunshots, man. They was playing gunshots to make the people that were doing peaceful protests to make it look like they are all going crazy, and the, the fucked up shit about that is, you know they want you to go crazy, just like they did in the LA riots and destroy your own communities, man. Because I was on World Star Hip Hop, and I saw so so called blacks, all right, or which are the Negroes or the tribe of Judah. They was out in front of their stores with guns, man. Because now the whole thing done changed. The whole narrative is not about what happened, what they did to Jacob Floyd, but now about you know protecting your little small business that you might have had. And turn these people against each other. So at the end of the day, it's all prophecy. So you can't really do nothing against this truth, but only for it. It says, there's no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. So the so-called white man is a very crafty, manipulative, manipulative beast, man. You know, and he knows how to paint a narrative. He knows how to control you people out there, right? And make you do um, silly things, man. You know what I'm saying? The so-called white man got you... Wearing a mask of submission and gloves, created a boogeyman that's not there, all right, and baited a lot of people into looted and rioting. When sh guaranteed, man, a so called white man don't let nothing go. So, all you people that fell for this bait and went and robbed and did all this shit, trust and believe the so called white man got your number. You know, they got you on them cameras and they don't let shit slide, man. You know? Plus, this ain't gonna do nothing. This ain't gonna do nothing. You know what I'm saying? This ain't gonna, this ain't gonna take the so called white man out of his ru rulership because that's not prophecy. Right, the prophecy is Yahweh Shah is gonna take this man out of his rulership. However, the raw, the uh, the the wars, and rumors of wars, and the uproars of the people. Now that's prophetic. So this old, this in itself does play a role in prophecy, man. All right, you know. So what they do is order ab chaos. They create the chaos and come up with the solutions, man. All right, whether it's a natural or uh, disaster, a natural crisis, or more often than not, they formulate the crisis of themselves, man. All right, including the false pandemic to do a giant wealth transfer. All right, because the scripture says he causes all both rich and poor to receive a mark in their right hand and forehead. So there ain't going to be no middle. Either you're going to be rich or you're going to be poor. All right. And they they doing they working on um, their magic, if you will, their deception to do just that. All right. The scriptures speak about uh, wars, rumors of wars, all right, a police state. And if that's not happening fast enough, then boom, you know, they put Adrian Provocadores to do that, man. So, I'll, again, our job, man, is to just keep it spiritual. Our protest is spiritual, all right? Not carnal. Exodus 20 and 16, it says, Thou shalt not be a false witness against thy neighbor. And that's what this devil has done, man, all right? They've painted, you know, yeah, you got a lot of, I mean, let's let's keep it funky, man. You got a lot of wicked jakes out there that do commit um, violence and all that type of shit and kill, they, kill each other and rob and all that. That's true. You know, you can't just say, oh, we all, every so-called Negro, Latino, Native American is a peaceful being. Not nah, because there's something called two thirds, you know, but, um, you know, the media and the scriptures speak of a race riot. So the so-called white man is going to twist it um, to create this racial narrative, man. You know what I'm saying? Which the cops are so-called racist. There's a lot of racist cops out there, but this shit, cop brutality happens every day. You know what I'm saying? In fact, two of the um, officers that were charged were so-called blacks. 
because you got a lot of our own people that take abuse of power and kill each other. You know what I'm saying? But they trying to stir up um, a racial agenda with it, you know, to pit to pit so-called blacks versus whites. But guess what? That's one that's gonna happen regardless, because that's that's prophecy. And two, a true Edomite, black white, whatever the Edomite might look like, or whatever the Israelite might look like on the outward appearance, they have a perpetual hatred toward towards each other, man. All right, that's in the book of um, Ezekiel, the 35th chapter, and it's not artificial. All right, it's just pure hate between Jacob and Esau because these were the two spirits that were at odds with each other from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And most I loved Jacob, and the most I hated Esau. All right, so the so called white man, all right, however, however he might look because he is mingled amongst nations and Israelites. All right, and the so called Israelites, the so called black man. Negro or uh, Negro Latino Native American, no matter his outward appearance, he has a he has enmity against um the so called Edomites because it all comes down to Jacob and Esau, you know. So yeah, they're gonna try to spin it. Um, it was racially driven because you know that dude, um, he had a track record of doing crazy shit to Jake. You know, but the police, again, as a whole, have a track record of doing crazy shit to our people, man. You know, even our own people that's in that police force bullshit. Just like, um, j hey, man, there's nothing new under the sun. Just like how it was under, the, um, when Vespasian came to seize Jerusalem, it was a head Israelite general that came up with the, um, technical, uh, ways of doing it, you know. So our people go hand joined in hand. The wicked shall not go unpunished. So, you know, again, they're trying to play that part down because they want to drive this whole um, race war thing up, man. So that's also a political move, you know. Uh, Psalms 119 and 69, it says, The proud has forged a lie against me. Now, who's the proud? The proud is a so-called white man, all right? And the ones in rulership, man, these devils that rule. All right, they form constant lies and, and do witchcraft and, and all types of shit, um, mainly through their mainstream media, man, to how to manipulate our people and to manipulate the way they think, man. So a lot of times, man, especially now, what I always do is I always look at who's funded this particular station. Where is this station getting this money from? You know, who's behind it? And you could just, it's a lot easier to spot what and what they can't say, you know? And that's the area we live in, man. Censorship, censorship crazy, you know? Uh, you got this dude, uh, Joe Rogan, he left YouTube for $100 million to Spotify. And a lot of people are saying, man, look, the hell with YouTube because they censoring what you what you can't say and and make you um, self-censor yourself, man, how you think and all that type of shit. So people are trying to look for a new outlet because if you could censor what's put out there and you could um, shadow ban different content, then, of course, you're controlling the narrative of, of however... You want a situation to play out and who stands to benefit, man. You know, you look at who funds people like YouTube. They own by Google, which Google has a big um, tech contract with the CIA, man. All right. For what? For data collection. For data collection. You know, so you already know they're going to put out a certain narrative a certain way and block certain things. So we living in a police state, man. All right. We living in a society where freedom of speech is not really freedom of speech because you can't even say you hate somebody. You know, everything got to be love and politically correct. You know, what's wrong with hate? The Bible speaks about hate, you know. And the so-called white race is fighting for their constitution because they go heavy with that shit. You know, but guess what? Their kingdom is coming to an end. So they they losing their, all them liberties and all that. That's going to be out the window as we move closer and closer towards a police state, man. To the point that teaching this word, all right, is going to be out the window, man. You know? Um, before I read this last scripture, and guess what? This control and 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 false narrative of the, of the media is also going to play a part in this truth. All right, because guess what? They're going to have the ability to, to twist and put a bullshit against um brothers that teach this thing, man. You know, that's how come you really got to be careful of who you tell this truth to and how you speak to people about this thing, man. Because you have you have agents, man. All right, they're going to try to fuel you and try to get you to say types of you know, look, you know, to make you, you know, that's how come we don't, when I don't, when we get on the common boards, we don't get really too crazy because we know the so-called white man could use it against you, you know, 
And you got to use wisdom with this devil, all right? So you might, you know, you might meet a chick. You think you're meeting a chick, kind of find out she's a goddamn cop trying to incite you to see what type of shit you about. And that sounds, oh, that's, that might sound a little far-fetched or sound like some shit you see in the movies, but now they do shit like that, man, all right? Or they might have actors. Um, You had that situation in Jersey with the Hebrew Israelite that sort of blasted at them so-called Jews. Now, I don't personally believe that was an agent. You know, I really think that was a, a Jake and a, a bugged out Jake and a bugged out woman that lost it. But guess what? They could use that. And that's all they take, man. You know, they could amp up that narrative how they want to amp it up. And soon they're going to start amping up false narrative against brothers, man. The ones that teach this thing. So, again, you got to be careful in, in, you know, the facts you bring out, the things that you say. Because this devil could twist your words, bring your lessons back up, chop it up and all that, you know. Or send agents in the, in the camp or send agents... Uh, at your job that try to, you know, pry information out you and try to see if you're going to say some carnal, stupid shit and, and try to use it against you. So this is the times we're living in. The times when we got to be circumspect, look around and observe everything, man. Um, Revelations 20 and 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire. So ultimately, this, this, this deceptive devil, all right, he has a judgment to pay. And that judgment is going to be this whole kingdom... Is going to be cast into a lake of fire, man, all right? But that lake of fire and the hell that it's talking about is not talking about a physical place on the ground. It's talking about post-World War III and when our Lord come back with the chariots to, one, hit America with nuclear missiles, and two, add more fire to that fire with chariots and laser beams, man. That's going to be issued out of them, what they call UFOs, which really are IFOs. They identified in the Bible, all right, as the chariots of the chariots of Israel, man. That's 2 Kings 2 and 11 and Psalms 104 and 3. All right, it says, Into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophets are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So there's going to come a time where the so-called white man is going to have to pay a, re uh, a recompense, all right, for the, the lies and narratives that he done put, man, upon us, that, that he put up. And the manipulation that he used against all people, man. Hey, so I just want to put that caveat out there, man. As soon as as we approach the end, you know, kind of give information a little bit, you know, a little bit of time. Because that's one thing I've been noticing uh, um, this man has been doing in, in a lot, in, with the social media and the mainstream media is just twisting um, facts and just, you know, trying to incite a certain narrative out of people, man. So, you know, beware. Of, of this man and his bullshit, all right, and always, you know, we always say, look, man, just come, just come, um, for the, for your, for, for the truth here at Great Millstone, something with the apostles and the elders and the brothers, you see that, you know, we def decipher things to the best of our abilities through the spirit, and we don't have no bias, we just report the things as is, all right, as we know to the best of our ability and, and back it up with scriptures, you know, all right, so with that, look, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashim, Rokak Wadash, the blindness of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. And salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You are Kim to Zadakim that do this thing in the most truth and sincerity. Shalom.